Hey guys, welcome. My name is Danny Hernandez, proprietor and founder at Grill and Provisions. Uh, welcome to my backyard. Why? Because we'd like to do today, we're going to play on a green egg and I've got a boneless prime rib roast, certified Angus, uh, some of the best meat you could possibly use on your green egg. We constantly stress using quality ingredients to end up with a quality product. Uh, let's get into it. Let me tell you a little bit about what we're doing here. It's herb crusted. Uh, what I mean by that is we're folding a uh, softened butter. This is an Amish butter, unsalted with some thyme, also some rosemary, some basil, chopped finely, folded into, like I said, an unsalted butter. We're gonna poke some holes here, we're gonna stuff it with some garlic cloves, and we're gonna get this rubbed. This was in the fridge overnight, took it out almost an hour ago, so it's pretty close to being a room temperature. I've got a big green egg behind us, and it's fired up to around 350 degrees, and that's where we're gonna start. That's a great jumping off point, but uh, let's get busy so we can get this done for you guys. As we poke some holes, whole idea here is to get some garlic into this entire piece of meat as we dig them a little bit deeper in there. As you're going to notice, we're going to rub this real soon here. We're going to rub it with um, this slurry of butter and uh, heavy kosher salt. And these holes are going to allow some penetration of those flavors into the meat. Uh, you notice this is the fat cap. When we go ahead and cook this, we're going to use this fat cap down. Quality piece of meat like this is usually found at your local butcher. The, uh, we've got some great friends here locally in Tampa. We're blessed to have Seminole Heights Meat Market. And uh, they're carrying Snake River beef. They're carrying some great Wagyu stuff. Now's a great opportunity to go ahead and cut this piece. And I would say that's four bones deep. Right there, you're gonna see what this beautiful piece of meat looks like at this point. That would be a ribeye. Obviously, if we made it into steaks, it would be a ribeye, of course. If it had a bone in, it'd be your bone in prime rib or rib roast. Uh, this is what you would call a boneless rib roast. And I chose this today just because I think it's a little bit more efficient, a little bit faster to cook. And unfortunately I can't eat the bone and my dog doesn't either. Uh, that being said, what you see here is a nice slurry of butter with some herbs. At this point right now that we've got it buttered down, we're gonna go ahead and create a nice layer of uh, salt, kosher salt. I'm gonna go ahead and wash up and we'll be right back to you. Hey guys, we're back. Let's go ahead and add some salt, right? I want a nice heavy salt. What I'm using here is some cherry wood smoked salt, which is from V Spicery, which we carry at the shop. Some real nice stuff, adds another layer of flavor. At home, everybody should have kosher salt. Be generous, don't be scared here. This salt's gonna just disappear. It's gonna be part of that, that outside crust. It's gonna add a lot of depth, and that's what you really want. Now's an opportunity to look over to our egg. Are we at 350 degrees? We are spot on at 350 degrees. Great opportunity to bring this, introduce this beautiful piece of meat to some smoke. Follow me. That piece of meat's probably four to five pounds. Let's go ahead and let that cook for almost two hours. We're going to look for an internal temperature of around 125 to 130 to be able to take that off and slice a perfect medium rare rib roast, herb crusted prime rib. Now that we've got that part of that rib roast on the smoker, we're going to go ahead and make a beautiful prime rib. What do we do with this other beautiful piece of meat, right? Certified Angus, super fresh. It's been uh, wet aged probably around 25 days right now. Now's a great opportunity to either take this back to your refrigerator to do another roast, or I personally like saving it for another day to be able to slice it into ribeyes. Recommendation is if you're not gonna use this in the next five to six days, go ahead and vacuum pack it. If you've got a sealer at home, I think you're gonna get your money's worth out of a great vacuum sealer. They're super affordable nowadays. If I was gonna go ahead and make ribeye steaks for the house, I would probably cut this an inch thick, and that's a beautiful ribeye to enjoy at home. If I was gonna make two or three individual steaks like that, for the wife and I, we would go ahead and pre-cut these. These would go into, whether it's a Ziploc in the fridge or a vacuum saver for um, longer use. You could also, again, this piece of meat could get frozen and be brought out for another day for a roast. But you can't have a great prime rib dinner without a great side, right? Super simple, again, you got home. These are golden fingerling potatoes 
throw them on that same egg that we were lighting up to get up to 350 degrees as it was ramping up in temperature, starting at 200 degrees. Wash these, rub them down with a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of that coarse uh, kosher salt, and threw them on top of the egg. Didn't cover them, didn't do anything like that. All they are is just a real slight pre-smoke, and all we're gonna do is smash these down, right? Get a little smash on them, and we can go ahead and put a nice little grill on these smashed potatoes. Get a nice crust on these, on that skillet, off of that smithy skillet, and they eat like butter. That nice crunch creates another little flavor profile, some versatility on that plate. This is, I mean, this is what you want, bro. Red wine, prime rib, Are you kidding me? Golden fingerlings? It's good, life is good. What's fun about this is that the egg adds so much flavor, and that's one of those unknowns that, well, why is the egg that much better? It's not that it's better, guys. It's the fact that you're using an all-natural, 100% natural lump wood charcoal, and that flavor is really hard to get out of a gas grill. Uh, we carry some great lines of gas grill, again, but if you really want to elevate that outdoor cooking, the egg is the tool to have. It's my go-to in my backyard, uh, and I enjoy that lifestyle. These are the moments that really make you reflect on why do you enjoy this, this passion of outdoor barbecuing, and why is the creation, where's the creation of Grill and Provisions come from, right? It, it comes from the passion of being outdoors, really enjoying your backyard, getting back, disconnecting from all this technology, and really enjoying the many blessings that we have in our lives, which are our kids, our family, our environment at home, guys. We've got a beautiful prime rib roast on there. Let's go and enjoy a great, great glass of red wine or that cold beer, whether it be a sweet iced tea. I'm hungry, guys. It's time to get some grub. Oh yeah, that's absolutely beautiful. Guys, this piece of meat is absolutely beautiful, right? The certified Angus rib roast has been on the egg now for just about shy of two hours. It's at a perfect temperature of 125, 126 degrees. We're gonna take it off, we're gonna let this rest. What this allows is all those juices just to really relax, chill out, let them concentrate back into the meat because the last thing you wanna do is take a knife to this, slice it and have all those juices drip out on your table, right? So let's go ahead and relax, enjoy another cocktail, grab a glass of wine, enjoy your company, and enjoy your cook. Guys, it's been around 15, 20 minutes. This, meat, this piece of meat should be perfectly rested. Let's go ahead and get in there and let's see what it looks like, right? This outer edge is gonna be a little bit more done. As you get towards the center, you're gonna get a beautiful, as you can tell, you can see those beautiful garlic cloves. Uh, now you start getting in the mid-rare stuff. This is where I'm at, guys. This is the this is what I absolutely love. That right there would probably be my piece. Let's go ahead and take a nice slice of that. Let's go ahead and start plating. What else did we have today? We had some beautiful Brussels sprouts with some bacon, a little bit of garlic. Let's go ahead and enjoy those. We got some pounded fingerling potatoes, beautiful grilled asparagus. Oh, let's give this a taste. Now as we've got one plated, I, I've got to get in there, guys. I've got to slice, I've got to taste a piece for myself. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of this, oh, the spinalis, which is that rib cap. I absolutely love that. Let's go ahead and taste that. Mmm, butter. Absolute butter, guys. Being outside two hours, enjoying Mother Nature, enjoying your backyard, and great friends. Thank you guys for joining us. This is awesome.